Hi, this is Mark from Code Agent, and welcome to the Getting Started Guide. This is a very quick overview on exactly what you'll need to do to get started using two of our most popular services, Subversion and Track. We will explain other features like our Webhooks API, push backups to FTP or Amazon S3, enterprise grade roles and security, how to enable email notifications in our other videos. The first thing you'll notice after you log into our website is our welcome page, which provides a few handy link offs into other areas of our site. There's also an activity feed, which shows you the top 10 contributors from your subversion or CBS repositories. And there's also a breakdown by user. One important concept to understand about the code Asian interface is that it is completely project centric in that you create a project which is a container which you add your users, groups and services to like Subversion and Track. So let's begin with creating a new user. By default you would have created an admin user when you signed up but you'll need to create a user for each of your team members. So let's go ahead and create the user. First I click the people tab, click new, give them a name, And you can skip the rest if you like, then click OK. And you've created a new user. The next thing you want to do if you have a medium to large size team is place your users into groups. This makes life easier for the project manager or scrum master moving forward as modifications made to a group will affect all members. Otherwise making changes to your team will be much more time consuming on a user by user basis. So let's go ahead and create the group. First I click the Groups link, select New, give it a name, and you can optionally enable a mailing list, change the icon, and of course select the members for the group, then click OK, and you're done. Now the most important step, let's create a project container and add some services like Subversion and Track to the project. So I'm going to click the Project tab. Select new, give it a name, okay, and click OK. Right, now you'll be presented with a blank template project. So the next thing you need to do is add some services. So let's click new, select this version and track, click OK. And there you have it, you've added the services version and track to the project. Next you must assign some users or groups to the project. There is no point in creating a project if no one can access it right. So let's do it the easy way. First I click the general project access tab. Notice that the default admin user is already added, but I want to add the group that I added earlier. So I'm going to click group, click add, select the developers group I created earlier, click OK, and you're done. Now you can begin using the Subversion and Track services. To view the Subversion access URL, check either the Project Quick View section at the top or under the Subversion heading at the bottom. You can cut and paste this access URL into your favourite Subversion access client, like Tortoise SVN for example. To access Track, click the Track heading, click Use Track, and your track page will open in a new window and you're ready to start using track straight away. And it's as easy as that to get started with Codesion. Thanks for watching and look out for our other demo videos which will explain other features of our service in more detail.